thanks for staying with us on News Hub and welcome to the human angle side of the show. Today we want to bring you a story that trended last week. It was just a seven second video that changed the life of a young man who we'll be talking to today uh, on the program. We also have with the young man, uh, the man who made you know everything, brought it to perspective on the program today. So join me as, well, as we welcome in the studios today, Ekuma Jeremiah. Uh, he was called a hawker, but I'm sure that levels don't change from this point. Uh, so Ekuma, so nice to meet you on the program. Yeah, thank you. Would you like I call you Ekuma or Jeremiah? Which one do you prefer? Jeremiah. Jeremiah, Jeremiah. So nice to have you on the program today. Thank and you. the photographer, the man that made the moment, <coughs> that captured the moment for the world to see is also joining us today. Audrey Emmanuel, so nice to have you on the uh, program. Nice to have you too. Thank you. All right. So uh, let's speak. Let, let, let's start with uh, you. That's with Joe Emanuel. Before we come to uh, the man in the picture. Why did you think it was a moment for you to capture? So uh, I've never seen anything like that before in my life. I was, I was just, I was moved. Like, I feel like they were almost... It sells water. How much does it make every day? And every one of us were in that same traffic, and we were not like we saw the inmates begging. They were pleading to everybody, but oh. it was just him and one other. I think it was a plantain chief seller that were moved. That one just gave one, and then him. He was like almost giving everything he had on me, on him. And because before I started filming, at least it was about 15 seconds. Then. I filmed for nine seconds, so everything took about 20 to 30 seconds. Yeah. So it's, I think it's what anybody would do, anybody in my shoes would do. Jeremiah, I yeah. saw the video and I saw even some interviews that you gave. You didn't have much, but you were willing to give everything. What motivated you? Um, I can't say that I'm moved by price or by what I have in mind to achieve. I don't have anything in mind to achieve. What motivated me is um, the, what I'm passing through. I'm Sh suffering. Shall, shall we share with us your story? Tell us your story. A story of myself? Yes. Chronicle in about a minute or two if you can. Um, my name is Ekima Jeremiah Iziogo. I'm from a family of 10. I finished my secondary school in 2016. Where? at John Kevin Secondary School on Shanka in his, his local government area in Ebony State. Ebony State, okay. Afterward, I moved to Port Harcourt. I spent 217, 218, 219, 220 in Port Harcourt. Then my first jump, I took my first jump 2018 when I was in Port Harcourt. I got 245, but I was not able to get admission because I wanted to study law. Then I have to wait that 218, 219, then 220. I sat for the exam again. I got 241. I said, this time around, I'm going to choose a Boyne State University as my first choice. Then I was able to gain admission to study law in a Boyne State University. Then with a little I have saved those years, I was able to pay my acceptance fee make my clearance, secure an apartment, and every other payment in regards to faculty. But after, the, after, after all those payments, I don't have enough again to pay, for my school fee, to pay my school fees. I tried all I could. I, I went borrowing, but people were not helping. Where are your parents? Um, my parents, they are still alive today, but they don't have. All right, so you made up your mind to, when did you get to Lagos? I came to Lagos on 12th December, 2021. Just last year. And that was my first time in Lagos. I've not been in Lagos since I was born. Why, what, what, why did you choose of all the things to sell water? There must be a reason behind that. Um, when I came to Lagos, the day I packed my luggage from university back to the village, I told my parents I would be leaving for Lagos in the next two days. My father looked at me, my mother looked at me. If I, even at the first place, my mother started crying. 
my father having no other option than to tell me to go. He said, okay, I know you are frustrated by now, but as you are going to Lagos, you should be careful. You don't use because you've lost a lot, you, you are frustrated, you will join bad gangs or indulge yourself in any incriminating act. So I heard them loud and clear. In the next two days, I came to Lagos. I didn't even call, call anybody. It was when I reached the bus stop. I, I don't even have phone. My phone spoiled. I, I was able to get phone from somebody that I uh, entered bus together with. I called my cousin brother. He's outside now. Barnabas. I told him I'm social in a social place. So. All right. So how did you get into selling it? Uh, because of time. Uh, so where, where, when I get to his room, I spent, that, that day was, was it Thursday, I spent two days. Then I started wor uh, worrying all of them that they should engage me in something. That even if anything that I'll be doing, let just them introduce me to it. They said they, what they can offer for me is that they can introduce me to water business. But since I don't have money, they, they can talk to the woman. To give it to you mm, I will I will deposit my phone. Then... After sales in the evening, then I will come and pay and collect my phone back. Then I agree with them. But before the day that I left for the business, one person, the other, no, one person gave me 2,000, and another person gave me 2,000, making it 4,000. I went there, Aja, that Aja traffic. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I bought crates, bought so many other things. Then I started a water business. All right. Now, fast forward to when. Uh, he uh, eventually, that's what Joe Emmanuel eventually uh, captured you. Uh, let me come back to you. When you recorded it, did you call him immediately after? Did you, did you uh, catch his attention? So one of the reasons why I recorded it was because seeing such act, I wanted to get his account details and oh, send him money. Personally? Personally. Okay. So in the process, because the traffic already moved, and I felt like, what's the best thing to get? Is it his account number or his oh. phone number? And I just said, okay, let me get his phone number, which I called him and I said, give me your phone number. I'll send money to you. I just saw what you did. Mm -hmm. So he gave me his phone number. I called it immediately. I think he hung up. So I just felt like, oh, that's the response to the number I just shared. Mm -hmm. So when I put up the video, when I saw the video later, and I just said, oh, let me share this video, maybe. How many people have seen the video so far? <laughs> From my page. From your page. <laughs> I think 89,000 people. Now, have you ever had such traffic no, no, before? The then? highest I've ever had was 13K. Okay. And I've seen pages on, on TikTok. I saw 700 and I'm not sure, maybe 400 and something. What's the number? Oh, I told you? Okay. But it's a lot. It's a lot. All and right. I've seen pages with huge. All right. Jeremiah, I hear that even as at the last time you've gone through your I want to imagine it's more than that now. I hear that his book and Samaritans are chosen to send you to school. What, if looking back, you were doing something for nothing, you were just doing out of who you were, and it's something you would do without expecting anything in return, just as you said. What impact do you think your gesture would have on young people? And how has it actually changed your life? Um, I think on the young people, one of the greatest impacts is that you don't need to have enough before you give. Absolutely. You must not get the whole world before you offer. I, I just decided to give to them, not just that I have en not not because I have enough. I don't even have enough. Mm. But... I, I, I think I'm better than them, and actually I'm better than them. Aren't you worried if, for instance, as you're trying to give to them, maybe anyone tried to hurt you, or maybe you got arrested? Because, you know, sometimes some would be like, maybe you were trying to pass something illegal to them. Why aren't you worried about if people would think otherwise of a kind gesture? Um, I didn't think, or oh, I don't have any fear that I will be arrested. Simply because with the number of months or days I spend in Vestia, I think 
such fear might have gone out of me. What if you got arrested for doing that? Um, God knows I'm not doing wrong to you. And what if you did? No, I'm just trying God. to see. Thank God that's not what's happening. What, what, if, you, what if you got arrested? Um, then I would take it like that. I know it's what I got trying to help. Mm. All right. Uh, we've been speaking with the Kuma Jeremiah, the man who you, can, you can't call him a hawker. Now, when are you going, going back to school? Yeah, that's a good one. Now you're going back to school. Um, school, I've not made any consideration or I've not given it a thought. Well, I learned that there, there are rumors that somebody has you know, promised to take you up uh, your education from whatever level you want to do within and outside the country. How true is that? Um, it's a rumor, it's not gotten to me. And no, no, can I? Can okay, I, please go I, ahead, please. So, yeah. so he has reached out, which I don't know what. He reached maybe, out maybe, to you. Maybe, maybe he does not understand your question. It's not okay. a rumor. Yeah, come again. So he has reached out through Daddy Freeze. We are supposed to have a meeting on very soon, Wednesday. Okay. Maybe. And there's still, there's still a lot of things to put in place as regards the school which we, we've spoken about a couple of times yeah. because he was not expecting what happened. Oh. So it's very difficult for you to just wake up when you already have your 2022 planned and then you just go in another direction. Do you get it? It's very right. difficult to just, uh, human beings, okay. to just start. So it takes time to start changing it's your thought. Okay, this is where, this is what I want to do now. So it's still in that process where... <laughs> So it's going to take time, but All right, eventually... so you got what I was trying to... Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Okay, are you still going back to read law? And uh, is your admission still, you know, alive where you were? Did you defer it or did you just abandon school? Um, I just abandoned school because I've tried submitting the feminine letter. All right. But they told me, since I've not gotten range number, that's yeah. not going to be possible. Okay. Uh, it's when I have the range number that they recognize me as a student of the school. Then if I wish to defend the admission, I'll be able to defend. All right, so you can still get your admission back or you're going to write another jam. Is that what we're talking about? Yeah, I have, we have, to, to, I have to write another jam. Oh, okay, but you have all your prerequisites, your five credits, everything that you need to get into school. Everything is, you have it. Yeah. Cool. All right, uh, we've been talking to uh, the man you called a hawker, but now the life has changed. Uh, talking about um, Ekuma Jeremiah, who acted a good Samaritan. He saw some uh, prison inmates in Nigerian uh, Correctional Center uh, van and he helped them with the, almost nothing that he had. He gave his all and a good Samaritan who's changed someone's life today, if you asked me, 2022, uh, Ojo Emmanuel, we want to thank you so much, Ojo Emmanuel, yeah, for that kind welcome. gesture. Uh, it's better than all you're kind welcome. of videos we see that don't really change lives. We want to thank you so much. And God bless you too. Amen. Uh, I pray that you also get something special this year. Amen. Congratulations to you once again, Jeremiah. Yeah, we you. pray. Thank we hope that this, you, you learn from this and moving forward, you keep doing good. All right. Yeah. All right. So keep good, doing good. That's what we're talking about today. Help out someone today. You don't need to have the whole world. Jeremiah just said it to give something. If you have little, you can give. You cannot give from the little. When you have so much, I bet you you won't be able to give. It's still news half, and we thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more.